68.2 is what I put. Alright, here's the other half of the story because OBS is bullshit. Let's um, get her down! Woo! So, oh, uh, right where we left off, uh, Korag went back courteously and found out that it fucking cut off right as uh, he was going to take the food out to the bear. Alright. From there, you kind of sit back down, everybody's nestled in for drinks in the, the tavern. I still didn't come up with a fucking name for it. God damn it. Um, we'll call it uh, Crystal River Tavern. Uh, Crystal River Inn. Let's go. Again. So. Everybody hanging out, chilling, getting food, drink, you know. Zog, it's a little uncomfortable for you because, you know, fucking, you're a massive-ass orc and this place is not built for you. You've got to use two chairs for your big ass. One for each cheek. <laughs> you have any higher ceilings by chance? I don't like hitting my head. Uh, sorry, mate. Uh, not much we can do about that. This is a shitty price. <laughs> God. <laughs> now, now, Zog. You are a rare specimen. No one, I've rarely seen anyone taller than you, or as tall as you. That feels offensive, but I'll roll with it. We had a couple of Goliaths come through about uh, well, a year or so back. Got the same complaint. We tried expanding the ceilings, but no, we can't get the dimensions right. Where well, how tall are they? As fat as tall as you. So why not make them like ten feet or something? I need all the floor space. And all the room space. Oh, which by the way, uh, rooms? Yes. <laughs> so are you caught our Zog, are you really wanting to rent a room in here for the night? I'll sleep outside with the bear. Hey, I'll fucking hell, I'll snuggle with the bear. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be like, you just kind of curl up with the bear. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, if you did rent a room here, you're just gonna be Buddy the Elf. In <laughs> a tiny little bed. Yeah, man, my limbs are gonna be hanging off. I'm gonna be, my knees are gonna be bent off the bed and touching the floor. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep outside with the bear. Okay. So Wait, you guys come back in the morning and the bear's gnawing on fucking Zog's head. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven. He's spooning it. Six, seven, eight, Big eight, spoon, eight, spoon. nine, and ten. Ten rooms. Hang on, hang on. So you got me and my, uh, dude. You guys can probably double up, bump together. Eight rooms in? Yeah, because it's like. You and Maya, uh, Solonine and William. Or not Solonine and Mark. Falhorn, fuck. Some yeah. time. William gets his own room. Uh, Zog's sleeping out with the bear. Scaly gets his own room. Vin and Fal. Uh, Joffrey. Joffrey, yeah. I, I don't I don't know if we should do that because like Finn is dealing with his situation. We could do Scaly and Joffrey and let Vin have his own room. But remember, he's not scared of his friends anymore. It's just unknown. Oh yeah, that's right. Just unknown people. He he tried shooting an arrow at me. Yeah. Yesterday. I. Okay, Falhorn. Due to messaging uh, privately, I'll go ahead and tell you now. After the encounter, who the with fuck you. are you talking to? Talking to you, Korag. Talk, you talk said foul horn. I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I think that's the best plan of option right now. So, um, Korag, you, tailgate, buddy. Here's the plan, or the the way it went. It was supposed to just be unknown people. He was supposed to be reacting negatively towards. He just kind of took it as, oh, I'm suspicious of everybody. Corrected that. And I used your whole interaction with him and like break uh, gaining that trust back with his friends 
to set in motion that he's not long, no longer afraid of his friends or should be afraid of his friends. It's only strangers and unknown that he has a problem with. All right. And yeah, the, the boys will share a room. Okay. And I think him being alone is worse than him not having anybody at all. Fair enough. Oh. Alone when you thought, it's never fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, scaly thing that one. Right. Your thoughts. Oh. Bless you. I mean, you're gonna share a room with Taiwan. Oh, yeah. So I heard I got my own map out. Hey, you can hang out with uh, your buddy, Tywin. Hey, Tywin. Let's go. Hey, Tywin. Hey, Tywin. You think you can make hey, me do tail? You think you can make me do tail, bro? You know what? I would love to see this RP. I would really love to see it, because um, Tywin's an interesting guy. Actually, and then of course, like, yeah, Violet will get her own room, and then when Scrumpy comes back, he'll get his own room. <laughs> if he comes back. He just goes on another drunk tirade, just beating shit out of everyone again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna hop back over to you, Scrumpy. Or sorry, th uh, Thonu. Okay. Shit. Fuck. There we go. Nope, wrong character. Nope, wrong character. There we go. Alright. What's first on the menu? Uh. I said I was going towards the entrance to the, the underground levels. Uh-huh. Uh, so I guess I'm, I'm still making my way over to the, the entrance then. Uh, you, of that area. Yeah, it takes you like an hour or so of walking and just walking and walking and then getting to it. You can find your way down. Just kind of, just kind of stand there at the entrance, just looking at it, taking it in. It's um, pretty grand. They've even added a new addition. There is an elevator system rudimentary, but, you know, it's a functional thing for lo loading things up and down. I just picture, like, the dwarven elevators in Skyrim. Mm hmm Or, mm, not really that. More like the, probably like the, the one from the wall. Yeah. There you go. Hmm. That's good. I just want to make my way inside again. Uh, which way do you want to take? I'm not gonna take the lift. <laughs> you're, you're gonna take the lift? No, I'm not. I'm oh, just okay. gonna walk it. Yeah, I'm just gonna flip it down. Walk in. Yeah, walk walk in how I normally would walk in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you hoof the it. Way I, the way I know. Yeah, the way down here knows. You hoof yeah. it down about three flights of stairs, and then you reach the second floor. Um, do you want me to roll anything, or? Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna head and roll. Uh. Should I do invest or percept? Percept. Oh, come on. That was almost on a 19, so 14. Okay. Looking around, the yeah, place looks uh, pretty much how you left it. Um, small details here and there that have changed. You know, some bigger buildings, some monuments that, like, one monument you see put up. And in the very back towards the, like, where the entrance of uh, of the cave is to, to the mountain, uh, you see the um, this gallery that's that was dug out. It's the the, the ritual or the the chambers of the gods. Mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over closer to the monument. Okay. You spent an like hour and a half walking from the stairs to the monument, which is like the center point. And wait, would three flights be enough? Uh, well, it depends on like how long these flights are. Yeah. Pretty long, because like it, basically it's a giant obelisk in the middle of the uh, that they built in the middle of the square. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess like you know. Three flights of hundred step stairs. Mm -hmm. You think that'd be good? I think it'd be yeah. Good. 
Yeah, and they cut like. I could, I could, yeah. I got you. Okay. Yeah. So like, I'm trying to like scale it. Like it's three flights. But they're kind of long. Yeah, they're dwarfs. Yeah, they're like yeah. Something like uh, that would be useful for like a siege kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, super long, very probably probably not very wide. Uh, um, I'm just gonna saunter over to the big obelisk and see what that's about. Since that's new to me. <laughs> uh, and on the sides is this large bronze plaque and it seems polished every day on every side of the obelisk all four sides uh near on the base and it says those lost and dead um in the war uh and it lists them off but the top one is Bornir, son of galnir and thaunir son of galnir and then um, the higher rank titles are uh, etched in larger uh, letters. And, you know, like, you two are the very top. And then right. it's, like, a uh, smaller text size, a um, bunch of noble people or um, notable dwarves and stuff like that. And then it gets to the general rank and file, just name after name after name. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, I said that's the right place. You <laughs> sent it to Thown here. I mean, Korag. My bad. <laughs> I was making sure I didn't accidentally send it to Yuri because it's like the next one in my direct message chat history thing. Um. What do you think? Narratively, it would kind of make sense. Yeah, that's what I'm. But at the same time, you come this far. I think you're you're at the point of facing it. You know. Mm -hmm. So. I'm gonna. There's like, uh, is there like, uh, like tribute stuff like around it? Or oh yeah, just... people like it seems like there's daily left offerings. I'm gonna. Especially now at this time of year. I'm gonna take out my flask, and I'm just gonna place it up against the obelisk. I'm gonna step back and just kind of look at it, and then. I guess I'll just kind of look around again to see what's my next action. Uh, you said this is the second floor, right? And I have up until the third? Mm-hmm. Going down or up? Down. Like, it, oh, down? Okay. This is all down. This is all digging down in. Down. Diggy, diggy hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Oh, yeah, my, oh, yeah, my. Um, it's not going to show me anything else. Um, is there, like, is there anybody in this hall, or is it just pretty empty for the night? Uh, the second floor or third floor? Uh, the one I'm on right now, the second one. Second floor is general residency. Hmm. Some shops, you know, some workshops to blacksmithing and stuff like that, but... General resident. This is where uh, a lot of the dwarves live. Gotcha. Dwarves, gnomes, and halflings, and stuff like that. Right. Uh, not really halflings. Uh, yeah. Alright. Um. How long do you said it took me to walk to this the center, the, the town center here? Half an hour and a half. Okay. Uh, and where would I need to go next to go down a floor? Uh, go back to the way you came and just go down the set of stairs again. Okay, I'm gonna make my way back there, but before I get down there. Damn it! Did it crash again? Yeah. Find out where we stopped. Damn it. 
Oh no, it's still going. Yeah. Still going. We're good? Yeah, it's still live. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, still... I'm gonna keep it up on my page just to make sure it doesn't go down. So cool. if it doesn't yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Fuck and help. Like, it did buffer for, like, a second, but, like, the stream still stay connected. Awesome. It's good to hear. So, uh, anyways. Okay, you peek your head in, um, still the same, clean, what's up? No, yeah, no, go ahead. Okay. It's the same old hall you've, you've seen thousands of times before. Nothing really different. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk down the steps to the next level. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, what level would my uh, parents be living in? Four. Four. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, so I'll go down to the third level. Okay. For now, yeah. You head down four flights of stairs. Roll another perception since I'm in a new area. That's a fucking nat one. Jesus Christ, what happened to all my good. And that's a four! Six! Jesus! Oh my god! Uh, he used it all in history, bud. That's why. It's a little different than you remember. Uh, not much is gonna. Like, notable things. A lot more houses. Uh, but also. It seems a little off to you, just a little bit, uh, in that it is more confusing than ever trying to navigate this floor. And also, this is where the stairs end, right now. Mm. Fuck it. Um... Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck, that one hurt. Higher, oh, shit. I should have said higher or lower. Higher or lower, Derek. I'm gonna re-roll this. Higher. Higher? Okay, I'll re-roll it to you. Dungeon Master. Fuck. Alright. Yeah, I got, I got 94. <sighs> I'm gonna try and uh, find my way through this a labyrinth of a third level mm. to try to find the entrance to the fourth. Okay. Uh, Thalonir. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and give you this tidbit, because, you know, this is, this is your home. You know, this is a strategic choice. Right. Procedures and such. Um, hmm. It's uh, meant to be like the retreating, like a way of retreat and also defense. Right. Retreat. So gotcha. Alright, okay. that's, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. So, like. The structures are built up to the to the to the roof uh, of this floor, in order to block off visible line of sight over anything, mm. and it acts like a maze and confusing twists and turns. But once you've lived here for a while, you know how to defend and like use the the roads to your advantage. Okay, so I just take shortcuts I would have known. When I was younger, running through these streets with my bro and shit like that. Yeah. So, if you wouldn't mind, give me a history check. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Advantage. Oops. Yep. 20, dirty 20. Yeah, it works out. 
Uh, yeah, you zip on through relatively with ease. Um, some new twists and turns here. You're like, oh, wait, uh, nope, this way. Because uh, there's a like different street corner, or they change something slightly here and there. Right. But yeah, you fucking navigate it like a pro. And you get to the point where you see the other side of... Not, not directly across, but like, uh, say, where, you, where you're where you entering in from, you were looking dead south. Uh, you're looking south... West is where the uh, the gate is to go down further. Is there uh, guards by there? Yeah. I'm glad I just start making my way over there. Not too slow, not too fast. Kind of just like a kind of a brisk pace, I guess you could say. Cloak's still up and everything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they see you and like, Oi! Let me see your tablets. I'm going to... I'm gonna look up at him and make eye contact. I don't think that'll be necessary. Probably more appropriate to look down on him since you're taller. Oh yeah, look down. And make semantics. Eye contact, yeah. Yes, yeah, semantics. Yeah. Man, we're all about semantics in this group, huh? <laughs> Recognize me? You rolled a seven. <laughs> um, the other guard's gonna come over. What's going on over here? I'm gonna take. I mean, at this point, I'm just gonna fucking take off my hood. I want to be. I want to be let in. That was cocked. Who are you? <laughs> okay, the first guard is being a difficult asshole. I don't give a shit who you are. The other one's like. Hold your fucking tongue. Down there. I put a kept down with a little half-hearted, like, you know, like the closed mouth smile. I. No thanks. Uh, there's no way. Forgive me, boy. It's all right. For all intents and purposes, I'm dead understandable but I figured it was time I'd come home and I uh, want to see my mother that's understandable yeah yeah um but this way but, uh, but uh I'm gonna have to ask you to kind of for now keep it to yourself okay okay yeah no. there's certain people I need to not know I'm here Understood. We're with you. Aren't we? I don't get the big deal. Shut the fucking up. Shut up. <laughs> fucking short beards these days. <laughs> he, he pulls. He pulls a horn around. <laughs> yeah. What's up? I. You too. Take our posts. We have a special guest uh, uh, person that needs to have an emergency meeting with the king and queen, or uh, the chieftain and his wife. Before the gate uh, opened or whatever, I, I put my hood back up. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he, he was waiting for you to do that before he blew the horn. Um, yeah, the other dwarf that you were looking at, young kid, uh, like maybe 45. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, he young, young. He young, yeah. <laughs> he just. I'm just gonna. He's like I'm, new. I'll, I'll, I'll flick the short beard like a like a fucking. Uh, oh, what should I give him? What do you think? Cut Korak, gold or platinum? Gold. Oh. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take a gold out of my pocket and like do the thumb flick at him. Here. I'm gonna flick it at him. Like. Uh. I'm just gonna walk past him and follow the other guy. Mm. Well, uh, young, get young, uh, shortbeard's coming with you. Mm -mm. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I had a character though with this whole scene right now with the like, short beard and the older guy who does know what's out here. Mm -hmm. I was picturing the Dark Knight Returns with uh, when Batman came back at the beginning mm. and mm. the older cop and the rookie cop. <laughs> 
And he's like, put that thing away Batman. before you hurt your before you hurt yourself. <laughs> put that back before Batman breaks your hand. <laughs> he's gonna steal as your Batman boat. Just, as Batman just looks at him, <laughs> just being like, did you just really fucking shoot at me? Deeper and deeper. Going down another three flights of stairs. Oh, fuck up how many stairs are on this house. <laughs> They're walking either side of you. Well, guiding you further and further in. Ah, and you breach into the open gallery that is the fourth floor. And you see towards the north and end is where the, basically the, the, I guess you'd call it palace or castle, you know, structure where your family would live. Right. Also, this is also the layer in which you start seeing amethyst, like, just kind of poking through the uh, side walls, and, like, they're even using the crystals they've enchanted to produce this purple light along the way. Nice. Light of crystal healing. Mm-hmm. Posted in general, kind of like I forgot Thor and War <laughs> In general, you said. Yeah. Hmm. Of course, it's more down on his head where he can't see his eyes. But yeah. Yeah. What the fuck, Oni? What did Oni? Is she in the car? Oh. Okay. So anyways, start guiding you along again. You just staying quiet this whole time. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and roll. I'm not, I know I've been doing a lot of perception checks, but oh god. Ooh, 18. Thank the bearded one. Um, eight with an 18. You look around and you see new structures that have been erected over the past few years. Um, uh, some more, like, guided gates and defensive systems. Like, you see them kind of poking out, but they blend well with the environment, so that way they're not meant to be obviously a defensive mechanism or an offensive repulsor or whatever. You know what I mean? Right. So. They're, they're, they're not, they don't, what's the word? They don't draw attention to themselves. They look benign, but they are, right? Yeah. Also, this is where, like, some of the nobles would live, so it would make sense that they would have, like, some of the, like, a wall system around their house or their building or mm -hmm. whatever. Right. And it's kind of integrated between those uh, gaps. Gotcha. And some overwatch towers, too, to kind of kind of keep a lookout system uh, built into the ceiling. There's a, even a whole um, catwalk system up there now, too. You guys have done some improvements. Hey. After they attacked, we had to uh, make prepare. For things went south again. Hmm. Gonna keep on following them mm -hmm. until we get to the. They lead you as far as they can, which is up to the 
uh, gate and um, to the to the uh, to the palace or the the castle. Mm. This is about as far as we can get you. Thank you. I'm gonna give him a nod and start walking up the stairs, across the bridge. Whatever, yeah, whatever. they wa they walk you up to like a a, a decent sized uh wi uh, like a, a wide berth uh um bridge. So it's like got plenty of pathway for like four ways of traffic. You know what I mean? So like you get mm -hmm. two people going in and two people two lanes of people coming out. Right, enough for like a like an army to march through or some like uh, yeah, a wide stanced army to kind of walk walk through. Uh, it's also meant for like when they're trafficking people across, like, if they need to take shelter. Right. It's, it's enough to handle a wide flow of people coming through. I'm just gonna... Donnie's just gonna take a deep breath and just continue on. And just gonna push through. Walk across yeah, his, the... his brain scream and fucking turn back. <laughs> but fucking he's, he's pushing through. Like, you... something in the back of his mind is saying, why did I come back here? I need to leave, but he's ignoring it. Mm. You walk across the bridge, alone, standing in your cloak. The guys also are standing at um, at the either side of the bridge. That way, when you come back, they can walk you across if they need to. Right. Um. <laughs> You fatally hear. So who the fuck is that guy? Yeah, yeah. You know, you're like, I will fucking beat your ass. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, uh, the uh, guards at the actual gate uh, and fenced wall and such. Oh, We do not. Uh, there's no acceptance of uh, visitors at this time. I have no visitor. I I look up enough so for them to see my face. Okay. These guys definitely get advantage. Holy shit, that's a natural twenty. There we go. Nope, everybody recognizes you now. Once I got deeper into the city, everyone started recognizing me. Well, it's also because these are the actual like royal like quote unquote royal guards. <laughs> They've served your family for generations. Yeah, so like they are very, very fucking familiar with you guys. Um, he's like, oh. uh, they fucking sur surround you immediately. Like, come, they fucking open the gate, and they're like rushing alongside you. Okay. Uh, what's what is all this about? This is. Not trying to draw too much attention to myself, and this is the exact opposite of what I was trying to do. And they are. Shush! Move. Okay, okay. Ooh. Do I recognize any of these guards? Uh, yeah, you actually served with a couple of these guys. They were on the field with you guys. Like, the, the one that recognized you and approached you first, he was with you. Um, two of the other guys, and the rest have, like, served your family for a long time. Uh, were these guys at the battle with me? Two of them or... were, yeah. Somebody who survived. I was just gonna... I guess I just keep following them. Mm -hmm. uh, they lead you on through, and then they lead you not through the front door. They bring you around to the back through the kitchens and down into the, the like root cellar, essentially. like the, the, the They bring you down to the basement. Can you lads tell me why you brought me down to the cellar? Before we continue this, we need to make sure you are who you say you are, or who you appear to be. I am Thelnia, son of, son of Galnia the Grim. And I, yeah, I point out my eyes, is this not enough? Magic takes many wicked forms. You're not wrong there. 
I don't blame you for being cautious. A direct day in the mountain pass. Dead, so you know. I don't blame you. Um. During your trial, what creature bit you? A manticore. Did you slay the manticore? No. He got away. Much to my dismay. Whatever you want to take that guy's name. And I fucking lift up my, my shirt and show him the fucking scar. Mm. I, uh, a giant suckled me too. <laughs> yeah, hey, what's that on your ass? I'm sure my drinking that's buddies know that story. <laughs> that's a, yeah, yeah, they, 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 they laugh like, shh, that story, it's never gets old. <laughs> Are they here? Yes. Let's hope I keep them here. Oh, no, no, sorry. I thought you meant your parents. Uh, oh, no. I meant the other ones. I heard they were coming in our caravan. They're due tomorrow morning. Good, good. So what now? You're going to keep me in here, or...? Nope. We bring you before your father and your mother. At this point, I, I keep my hood off. Mm. I'm honestly scared of what my mother's gonna say. I know what my father's gonna say, but... Let's get this over with, shall we? Are they, are they gonna lead me up, or should I just? Okay, no, no, they lead you up. Uh, okay. The whole, the whole like moving you as a unit thing was like, first off, protect him, make sure no one's around to like fuck him up, right? Second thing is also, get this guy to a secure area where we can prove he is who he is, and you've fucking done that so far. channel and this is where we're gonna end the episode no! <laughs> I'm fucking with you I'm fucking with you <laughs> damn all that build up all that build up and no release who are you Matt Mercer yeah right <laughs> if I was a quarter of the fucking DM that man is this would be a very good campaign Let's go to the camper. Uh, we have fun. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, no. the, what matters is the is the uh, the satisfaction of the players. But to my own standards, I feel like I'm doing absolute ass. You just need not space out as much. Yeah. So, down here. Sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to sidetrack us right at the pinnacle you're of the good, moment. Uh, so, back on track. Back on track. Back on track. Okay. They lead you up out of the cellar, through the kitchens, uh, into the, the grand hall. Just taking it all in. Mm -hmm. Silent. Just taking in every detail of my home. <coughs> uh, wait here for a moment. We'll leave two guts. Then they both head upstairs, or two of them head upstairs, to uh, go and uh, wake your parents. Oh, and before before they left, I told them like, don't mention me. Just say you got company, like important company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just 
gonna I'm just gonna be walking around the hall, taking everything in. Hide yourself so you can surprise them. No. Um uh, so they come out of the like basically the throne room, right? Mm-hmm. The red did you see? I walk I I uh, walk up and through the door. Down here, would it be appropriate for it to be like one of those like caller people? Like he he announces the name and titles of the people entering the room. Uh yeah sure. Well actually it's That's late perfect. it's late at night. No, there wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah it's late not at, at this moment. No. Um. All right, be quick about it. Me and my wife were sleeping. Dog send you early before his arrival. Quick minute to make sure I'm ready to lick his boot. Father, when have you ever licked anyone's boot? It's a no. sick trick, then. This is no trick. Your hood's off, I... still? Or is your hood off now, or? Uh. I'm gonna say it's up. Okay. I am who I am. And I have come back. You stand there and speak the son, the voice of my son. But yet do not reveal yourself. Be quick about it and disrobe before I cut you down. I'm gonna grab one side of my cloak and just fucking rip it off. Anime style. Nice. And I'm gonna fucking straighten up to my full fucking height mm -hmm. and just look at him. Your mother freaking out. She's not freaking out. She's like stunned, shocked. Your father stern, but also taken a bit of back. Your disappointment has returned home. I have heard rumors that I am not too pleased with. I have come out of my exile. Mother, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking like a your mother starts to weep. Sick. And then she comes over. She fucking hits you in the chest a few times. She's like, why, where, where did you go? Why didn't you come back? Why didn't you write? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let her keep hitting me. Your father yeah. stands. Strides over to you. You've never known your father to be a very emotional man. Um, but in this instance, you see that tough facade crumble a bit. And for a split second, you think you see a tear in his eye. My son has returned. It is a glorious day. I have come out to my self I have come home. I heard I have a sister. Yes. And that you were marrying her to that monster. You killed my brother. I... was not decision I made lately. I'd already lost the two of you. I just had her. And the only way to secure the lives of our people was to offer her hand 
age of 20 or 21. 20? That is too young to be married. Aye. But he wanted her to be there and start learning his ways and his people's ways early. Devil tree of black magic. I knew that I had that I had a sister. I would have come back. But after the death of Ormir, I could not face you guys. I the shame I felt. It's, it still haunts me. Every night. I thought... At least for you, father. You guys would be better off without me. Never. Changed, brother. Not as cold as you used to be. Age changes a man. Heart loss, but loss and heartache change people. I'm gonna message you. Go for it. this before I go on with what I was about to say. <laughs> yes, she has. She, did she, as soon as she stopped hitting you, she started looking at your face and like making sure you're real. Yeah, she noticed the scar and everything. She's, like touching you, like you are here, you are real. I'm here, mother. It's me. I'm not really in the mood to do a voice right now for her, so. No, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Um, take take the actions of her reaction to you as you will. Um, but uh, son, when I heard I lost you, boy. I reflected a lot the way I treated you and your brother, and the way I've mistreated you. I regretted all of it. It broke me for a long time. And knowing, knowing I would have to give up my daughter as well, it was a far greater thing that you would both disappointed in the end, but there was no other way to stop the, the slaughter of innocents. I kind of just place my hand on his shoulder. You would think about your people. I would have done the same. Maybe not exactly. <laughs> you, you get I am here now. I am here to fix everything that has been going wrong with my land, with my home. This, this took a lot. I wanted to have come back with you. Friends I made along the way. They kind of helped me come out of my depression, I guess you could say. I'm gonna 
Huh? Twenty years. You have friends here in the city. Yes, I told them to to find a tavern on the first level to lay low until I could tell them. Yeah. All right. He looks over to the guards. He looks over to the guards. Go and collect my son's friends. Bring them here. Father. Yes. Do you know the great beard that lives at the edge of our land? No. He's the one that pulled me from the river. I would not be alive if it's not for him. But, uh, I think he's better left alone, but I thought it'd be, a, it'd be right to, it'd be wrong not to, uh, forget his deeds to our people. I will make uh, note of it and send something up for equal compensation for you, for work, for it. That is better left tomorrow after the events of that to take place. We can discuss that further detail. For now, you're home. Enjoy it. Sleep and rest. And ready yourself. She will not be for longer. She looks over to another. He looks over to another guy. Um, or actually, no, he looks at his wife. Go and wake her. No, no, not tonight. Leave it until tomorrow. I wish not to disturb this. Hi. Thalnir. As for you and your friends, you are welcome here. But tomorrow during the visit. None of you can be seen. If you must, if you can watch, just not be seen or heard. Of course. A lot of my friends know how to make themselves scarce. So, it would be a problem. I'll probably just stay in my room, honestly. Or, uh, other places. <laughs> how many men is this? Just him and his dog. That's all I know for sure. Um, shit. I'm con out of character. I am contemplating whether or not to tell them about their grandchild but at the mm. same time i think it is not the proper moment it is not the proper moment i'll tell you that now gotcha maybe maybe after probably if it was a dwarven woman go for it but as you <laughs> said you're so yourself yeah. I, I can picture your mom passing out <laughs> and your dad half debating on smacking the shit out of you what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> Once everything, you know, calms down from tomorrow, how long is he just going to be here for the day? As far as I know, yes. Hmm. Once everything calms down, I will fill you in on what I, what's been going on with me. But for now...
sorry to have worked here, but, but I did not want to wait and possibly run into him or his dog. My old room still just the way available. you left just, just the way you left it but, uh, but, uh, I guess I'll hug him both of them mm -hmm. I uh are you wanting to wait here for my friends or you should or do you want uh or I can wait here. You guys can head back to sleep. His way. Sweetheart, go back to bed. I'll wait with him. What's up? He told he told your mom to go back to bed. He'll he'll stay up with you to oh. to welcome the friends. No, father. Uh, I'm gonna say this now. The friends I have come along with are a bit odd. Okay. Keep an open mind. <laughs> I will do my best. Let's go down. Give him like a night, like a, like a little smile, and I, I guess I'll just wait there with him. Mm -hmm. uh, guess you take a seat or something. Mm -hmm. or? You sit down in the in the, in the throne room. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll I'll occupy my mom's chair. Mm -hmm. Mother's throne is actually very comfortable. Oh. <laughs> I always thought these things were uncomfortable. So, oh, this is actually nice. Oh, try mine. <laughs> I get up. Do I, like, sink down or something into the cushion? It, it, there is, like, the best back support in the world. Holy shit. <laughs> you feel several <laughs> of your vertebrae just, like, pop into the correct spot. You're like, oh my god. God, <laughs> this, is, this is why you're still nimble for your old age. Part of it. Be that dwarven magic boy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch back into the the, the mother's seat. Fucking give him his chair back. Don't want to steal your seat. <laughs> I, uh, don't, don't. <laughs> I almost, I almost spoiled something. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So, Wait, didn't we pay for a room and then we're just gonna uh, get uh, yeah, moved? Yeah, he, he didn't give us no prices. Yeah. I okay. Was, he was gonna make rooms ready and then charge you guys for it. Several. Yeah, it's like, hopefully you can get a, a decent sized bed at this palace that we're gonna be crashing at. Probably gonna push three together. And probably. <laughs> or four. Or ten. Ten for rolling room. Okay. But he lays on him like what would normally be sideways for a bed, but since he's putting them all together, it's basically just one big bed now. So he gets on the pile. Yeah, mm -hmm. pile. Uh Korak, right, so. you and uh, the group are hanging out in the tavern. And then Chug, 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 yeah. chug the fucking chug, dog. You guys are having a fucking wonderful party, right? Uh... No. <laughs> hey, the best the, the best way to get these fuckers to like us is with a good fucking drinking contest. Some of us can't drink, Korag. It's fine, I'll take your place. Yeah, he just do it. sitting there all pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> hey, who, who decided to get pregnant? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'll drink enough for you! And he fucking Falhorn just starts chugging. Double fisting. <laughs> if I can't drink, you can't drink! <laughs> That's not fair! His satyr's coming out. <laughs> His inner satyr, yeah. The party animal. Yeah! Uh, oh, he ain't getting any tonight. Fucking around. <laughs> you 
All right, guys, sitting there drinking, getting along well with the locals, uh, and then I'd say like two, three, say about three and a half hours, right? Go by. You guys sit down, eat food, drinking a lot, um, and then you see some guards kind of moving up outside. You see these specially armored and um, decorated dwarves into the tavern. Is there a group traveling with a dwarven transient? Fucking 20 people raised their hands. <laughs> Specifically on a pilgrimage from the south. Oh, like so five hands going down, still so 15 are up. <laughs> you, the weird lot. How are you nervous? How can we help you, officer? Pack your yeah. things. <laughs> Scary looks a little sad. Mm. How long have you done nothing wrong, is there a problem? You've been specially invited to the manor. That's concerning. Oh. Okay, yeah, Cord I thought just... we were getting kicked out. Yeah, Cord gestures to the group. I guess he decided to go take a visit. Uh, all right, everyone, <clears throat> pack up. Yeah, bring my bear. Oh yeah, yeah. we're bringing the bear. We're bringing the cart. Your, your, shit, we're bringing the bear. Your, your shit is with the bear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys load up the cart and everything in it. One of the dwarves hops in the driver's seat. I'm gonna sit next to him. Carry on. They wheel it on over to the uh, elevator system. Roll it down, roll it down. Takes about 30 minutes. You guys roll it down to the bottom and open the doors into this confusing, massive maze of structures and buildings. Slowly you weave your way around until you reach the other side and lower yourself further and further until you reach the fourth floor. And you guys are driven up and into the uh, main keep. You guys are directed to go inside. Every All your bonus will be handled and put into place. You guys are directed to the throne room. you guys if you keep teaching I'm, I'm just pulling up a picture of my dad mm. <sighs> you're let straight on through up and into the throne room and you see down here stand, uh, sitting alongside his father I kind of I'm, I'm like kind of like leading in the chair kind of like how fucking uh Y'all ball group is, and I'm just kind of like, I'm like, <laughs> do like that, like that, hey, what's up, guys, with like my hands, you know, and like that, do like mm -hmm. a little, like, smirk. So, <laughs> and this is what my, uh, like, uh, my dad looks like. That's my ma, too, but yeah. Looks like Odin. Yeah, what's that? That's Odin. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody says that. <laughs> He's the eye patch. Yeah. The eye patch and the beard. Eye patch, beard, yeah. and balding ass head. Well, we are dwarves, so you know, mix of Scottish and Viking, so. Where's the mom's stubble? I'm kidding. She had it when she, she was a warrior. But Not anymore. When she became a mom, she shaved it off. Yeah, could you, uh, Derek? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, hold on. Uh, father, this is my. Merry band of misfits, I guess. <laughs> we don't really have a name, we're just, we just met each other not so long, like, a couple... Oh, actually, real time. It's been... about a year? Half a year. Give or take? Half a year, yeah. Ah, uh, this... Uh, it was... 
it, it'd be ten about ten months. Since yeah, ten months. Nine months was the the time gap. Right, right, right. Yeah. It's a little over half a year, yeah. yeah. The, the brooding looking one there, that is Korak. <laughs> he gives like a smock like uh, mocking shock face before fucking <gasps> flicking you off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah, a, I'm imagining that scene from Guardians of the Galaxy where Peter Quill's like rolling up the middle <laughs> finger. Yeah, I got that. The young lad there with him, standing next to him, is his ward, I guess you could say. He's our healer of the group. There's young Vin, the, the white tiefling, and the half elf, that is Solanine and Falhorn. Oh. <clears throat> so, the uh, reptile looking lad, that's scaly, the big red one, that is Zor. Um, the fully plated the, up human. <laughs> there is, is a, then there is the William and Maya siblings, right? Yep. There is the siblings William and Maya. Um, Tywin, I right. met him in Distoli, and then Joffrey, we recently picked him up when he found him living with a uh, fake creature, it wasn't healthy for him, you know. Did I get, have, did I, did I get everyone? Yeah. yeah. Violet. 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 Oh, and uh, Violet. The only one thing left is, is your bear. Oh, and the, oh, I got the pets. Uh, and this is my daughter bear. I haven't really come up with a name for him yet. Scaly's gonna oh. like greet himself. Hello, Mr. Valneer's father. If you pay attention, Scaly, if I recall, Valneer, you, as you mostly stay during combat, Lord Thou, uh, Lord. Galnir? Hi. Mm. Yeah. They're my friends. Like I said, a bit odd. Uh, this group looks strong. It's good. We will need the strength in the days to come. At the mention of strength and strong core, I just I ain't fucking Zog. <laughs> <laughs> well then, you must be exhausted from your travels. Please, rest. And tomorrow, we will begin our preparations. After a meeting I have. I can show them to their uh, rooms. Yes, do so. Good night, Father. Good night, son. It is very good to have you back. Good to be back. Sorry it took so long. Better late than never. As uh, he walks out, but it's kind of walk down the there's like a the thrones are kind of up on like a like a platform like yeah yeah, yeah yeah i'm gonna walk down this is my home uh welcome i believe we have a bit big enough for you zog but if not we can throw together a bunch out. of fucking pillows and call it a day yeah yeah we can throw down some you know uh I'm gonna kind of look at my bear before. Like I, I almost said bear skins. Like we have some pelt hooks that you could use if the beds are to your liking. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and walk them over to the, the guest rooms or whatever. Yeah, you can walk them over to like basically where high traveling nobles would stay and stuff like that. So they get the comfiest and 
most lavish rooms and stuff like that. Individuals, bunk bed, like, you know, like, not bunk beds, but, like, um, full-size beds for pe uh, couples and stuff like that. Out of, out of character. Now, don't do any pillow fight. These are Aarakocra feather pillows. <laughs> you plucked Aarakocras for these? <laughs> Have a good night. I am going to retire to my own quarters. It's been a while since I've been there, so it'll be an interesting night. I'm gonna kind of give them a smile and you know, walk out. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so and I's gonna turn to the group. Did anyone else think he was actually still lying about this whole, you know, print thing? <laughs> Cora gives like a slight, like 50 50 ha hand wave. <laughs> I don't care if you're down the hall. I read that! Scorpio, I'm sending you something. It... Actually, I'll, I'll wait until after, after the session. Man, I just realized I, of course, had to get Solo 9 pregnant right when we're going into dwarven territory that has the best booze. Yep! <laughs> Suck. He's gonna buy them out of stock just to have it. <laughs> <laughs> Only for fucking down here and drink it all during the travel. <laughs> You'll kill him. <laughs> this is mine. It comes from my homeland. I will fucking skin you. It to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you stole a book because it was written by the dwarves. Um, I think that'll be all for the night. Uh, this will be actually the end of the, the session, and we'll pick up next week.